Hi guys, so this video is going to show the performance of my current graphics card which is an EVGA uh, GeForce GTX 570 Superclock graphics card. Uh, I'm making this video as a prelude to purchasing the brand new NVIDIA uh, GTX 680. Uh, it's been out a week, maybe two. I've read some data sheets, looked at the technical specs and watched a few YouTube videos and the card looks absolutely fantastic. NVIDIA claim that this is the fastest uh, GPU on the planet at the at time, single GPU on the planet at the time of this recording. I'm really excited to get my hands on one and once I have, I will do another one of these benchmarks. I'll upload it so you can compare the difference in speed um, and performance. A little background on the rig that I'm currently using, my gaming rig. The motherboard is an ASUS Sabertooth X, uh, X79 Socket 2011 motherboard. Uh, running on that is the Intel i7-3820 quad-core CPU, which is overclocked to 4.8 GHz. Uh, the cooler that I'm using for the CPU alone is the Corsair uh, H60 Hydro Series CPU water cooler. For anyone that doesn't know, this is a closed case water cooling system specifically designed for CPUs. And it does support the latest uh, 2011 um, socket set. The RAM I'm using is 16GB of quad-channel Corsair Vengeance RAM uh, at 1600MHz. I haven't had the clock of RAM yet, but I do intend to. It's not bleeding edge RAM, it's not the best RAM on the market, but the price over performance to ratio is fantastic um, and it's great for overclocking and runs very power efficiently as well. So that's why I purchased that RAM. The graphic card, as I've already stated, is the EVGA GeForce GTX 570. They call it HD Superclocked. It's got uh, 1,280 megabytes of onboard RAM. You can see the uh, clock, clock speeds in the top left-hand corner of your screen. You'll also see that uh, it's running incredibly cool, and it always runs around between 40 and 45 degrees. The reason for that is I'm running a uh, custom cooling kit on it. It's an EK H30 360 HFX cooling kit. Um, it's a 360 radiator. Most of you that know water cooling will know that this is complete overkill for um, uh, cooling your graphics card. But I always knew that I was going to go SLI and I knew that I wanted to have a water cooling system that wasn't, uh, wasn't only good for cooling the current graphics card, but any future graphic cards that I purchased so I wasn't always having to upgrade to a new water cooling system. The hard drives I'm using, they're Samsung 250GB. The series is the uh, 830 series SSD cards, it's in a RAID 0 configuration. Most people know you don't really need to RAID 0 your solid state drives. The main reason I did it is really just to expand the size of my C drive, um, so that's why I used a RAID 0. Um, the monitor that I use is a Dell UltraSharp 24 inch monitor, I've had it um, two or three years now, great monitor. Um, the benchmark that I'm running is the Haven benchmark, it's running in DirectX 11, tessellation is on normal, shaders are on high, um, anti-aliasing is running at times 8 and the resolution is 1920 by 1200. Now as you can see from this video, it looks absolutely fantastic, runs pretty smooth. Now I am running the Camtasia screen recorder in the background, so you can see the little EVGA um, position software in the top left hand corner of the screen. I'm also running Fraps. If I wasn't running these background, po background programs, then you could probably expect 10 to 12% more frames per second. Um, so even more smoother when I'm not running these programs in the back. Um, I would say that uh, out of all the games that I play a lot, so Metro 2033, Battlefield 3, EVE Online, uh, Mass Effect 3, the only game that kind of struggles on full graphics is the uh, Metro 2033. Otherwise, all the other games, including Battlefield, I've got full graphics, never uh, exceed over 45 degrees uh, in my cooling, um, and it's a great card. The price point, again, at the time of recording this video, was £250. Well worth it. I hope this video has been insightful. If you'd like to see more videos, please do um, subscribe and I'll see what I can do. Many thanks.